Ha! <laughs> Toad, you're pretty much screwed facing Bellsprout Tower with your water Pokemon. Huh? I know a couple other moves. <laughs> and the first gym is poison. I have no advantage. Or not poison. Mm. Um, what's it Um, bird. So I have no advantage. Yeah. And then I think the second gym is bug type. So again, I have no advantage. Mm. I do. Actually, I think I'm weak against. Grass is weak against bug, right? I think it actually is, yeah. Yeah. Crap, so I'm screwed for the first two to Elsa. You know, this is payback. This is, um, this is payback for the raw treatment fire types got against the gyms in the first game. Sure. Hey, you know, I've realized that this game is a sequel to pretty much every other Pokemon game. I mean, it can be considered a sequel to Diamond, Pearl, and Platinum because it's on the DS and it's the next game that came after it. It can be a sequel to Fire Red and Leaf Green because, well, it's a remake. It's, it's the next remake in the series of remakes. It can be a sequel to Gold and Silver because it's a remake of that game. It can be a, a sequel to the original Red, Blue, and Yellow because, well, you know, it comes next chronologically, like Gold and Silver. It can be pretty much a sequel to anything except for Generation... Ex except for uh, Ruby, Sapphire, and Emerald. I keep at it. Ha! Mine's, a level, mine's level 11 now, too. You have a um, hmm? Geodude. Yes, I do. So you can use that against the bird type. Yes, I can. Super That's why I'm trading my Geodude. I'm trading my Bellsprout for an Onyx for this guy here. What? Oh, huh. you're getting an Onyx? Well, my Geodude will kick the crap out of your Onyx. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, I know. I'm gonna have Onyx on there. Is it bad to eat turkey that's been sitting out for the past three hours? Nope. Okay. I'm um, no, no. Hmm. It's pretty good. <laughs> it's pretty good. Alright, I'm gonna bring out my cocoon up. Oh, I wonder what level it evolves into a, uh... What level does cocoon evolve into Bellsprout, uh, Beedrill, I wonder? Yeah. Maybe like 16 or something. Hope it's soon though. Steelix is pretty rare until generation 4 and you just need a whole cave full of them. Steelix? Yeah. Yeah, I know. What's the point of making a cave full of them? Because the whole gimmick was that you have to trade him. With that item. Never made wild uh, scissor. Hmm. Those are my favorite scissors. Mm hmm. So I wonder when the next news of the uh, Generation 5 Pokemon is going to come out. It's got to be soon. Because we got Zora and Zorark. And they and Zora and Zorark will be main characters in the next Pokemon movie. Oh, that's okay, too. Which probably means that um, there's going to be at least one other cameo of a Generation 5 Pokemon in that movie. Yeah. Because, like, Generation 4 Pokemon, there were... I mean, gener all in the past, they've been teased a lot more than they have recently. In in Generation One in the anime, they they Ash saw a ho -Ho in the very first freaking episode. Like they were already teasing a second generation of Pokemon in the first episode. Oh, that's name is Rocky. <laughs> oh yeah, that's right, Rocky. The Onyx. Oh, that's <laughs> I defeated Sage Chow. I sent some to mom. Ooh, I found an X accuracy. Are you exploring the town before going into the, uh... Ah, well. I sway like leaves in the wind. Is this really how this would happen in real life? Would someone just come up to you and say something really random and then just throw a Pokemon out and expect you to battle it? Yeah. Like, I sway like leaves in the wind. Go, Bulbasaur! Y you know, th 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 like, some, some trainers are nice. Some of them are just like, hey, you want to battle? Or just like, hey, are you ready for a Pokemon battle? But no, others are just like, I am smart because I read my books in school. And then just throw out their Pokemon. <laughs> 
<laughs> is there a Pokemon school in this game, too? I think so. There always is. I see, you're gonna use that Onyx against Falconer, aren't you? Yep. I wasn't gonna trade, usually I don't, mm. but I don't like Bellsprout, <laughs> and that worked out pretty good. Yeah. Plus the Bellsprout won't exactly help you against the Tower of Bellsprouts. Nope. You passed the Bugs in that school. Ah. It's in Violet City. <laughs> I love bypassing everything. <laughs> Dude, I bypassed so much in Pokemon Platinum just because I didn't want, really want to deal with the story. Well, you knew it already, too. Yeah, exactly. That's why I like Emerald the best out of all of the third generation games, story-wise speaking. Because Emerald changed things, you know? Yeah. Like, you didn't have Ruby or Sapphire, but, um, like, it, it was completely different because it melded together both. And Ruby and Sapphire were also the most different out of all of the generations, story-wise. Because, like, both of our games have the same exact story, pretty much, except maybe with Ho-Oh replaced Falugia in your version. Yeah. <sighs> Level 12. Oh boy. Yes, uh, I'm gonna learn synthesis. Synthesis, that, and that, that. Sorry, Growl. Oh, hey, AJ the Third's gonna evolve pretty soon. I think they go through their first evolution at like oh, level so level 15, huh? So, Enigma, Jake, Rita. Uh, what did I just call him? Uh, ah, god dang it, I meant AJ the Fourth. Yeah, that's what I named him. Because if you remember, uh, my Torterra is AJ the Third. Your Venusaur is AJ. Yep. No, actually, yeah, 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 Venusaur is AJ. That's right, I named my Venusaur AJ. I didn't name Pikachu AJ in Generation 1. That's right, never mind. <laughs> but yeah, and my, um, Gravile is AJ Jr. So many bell sprout. There's wild ones up there too, isn't there? Um there must be. Actually the only wild Pokemon I encountered in this tower so far was the freaking Rattata. Right. Yeah. But I mean I mm. How are you doing on your Pokedex and Platinum? I'm getting it. I don't know, me too. You know, there's so many Pokemon that I just... I thought I had, but I just didn't, you know? And, like, I could go through the trouble of trading them over from Pearl. Like, I don't have a complete Pokedex in Pearl, but I still have uh, quite a bit more. Yeah. But, like, sometimes it's easier to just go find them in the wild than actually, um... Hack, than actually getting a Pokemon egg and then tr spending the time to trade over. Right. You know? There's th why didn't they make an easier way to trade from game to game? Right. Like, it's easier importing games from freaking... Platinum, or from from a Generation 3 game, yeah. Like, it's easy, and, and they actually made it fun, you know, how you have to go through the park and stuff. Yeah. Mm. 